Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I am going to be showing you how I made this heart shaped wreath using this six inch deco mesh from Dollar Tree. For this wreath, you're going to need four rolls of the six inch deco mesh. So two of each color and one wire heart shaped wreath form from Dollar Tree. And a couple days ago, I uploaded a three color wreath tutorial using the six inch and I had several requests to do the heart shaped wreath. So for this one, I am only using two colors instead of three. And if you have not seen that tutorial, I will link it in the drop down box below for you. You're going to need some pipe cleaners and you'll want to cut them in half and you're going to gather your deco mesh in your hand, place it on your heart shaped wreath form and just use the pipe cleaner to wrap around it and go to the back and give it a few twists. Okay, now we are going to be, this is also going to be the bubble method. And so you're going to choose which color you want in the center and which color you want on the outer circle. So I decided that I wanted the white to be in the center of my heart. So I'm placing the hot pink directly on top of the white deco mesh, sliding my hand down it, making a bubble, and I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and wrap it around the deco mesh and the center wire. You're just going to be using the center wire of your heart-shaped wreath form. Just wrap your pipe cleaner around it and fold it down and push your bubble forward. Same steps, slide your hand down it, make about a seven or eight inch bubble, slide your bubble forward, then you're ready to take your pipe cleaner and wrap it around your deco mesh and attach it to the center wire. I would recommend choosing pipe cleaners that go along with the colors of your deco mesh. This is all I had, and so I had to use the red, and then I ran out and ended up using some green. But try to use the same color pipe cleaners that coordinate with your deco mesh. Same steps, slide your hand down it, make a seven or eight inch bubble, attach it to your wire frame, and push it forward. Now you want to push your bubbles together so that your wreath is nice and full and fluffy. So this wreath is very simple to make. You're just going to continue all the way around your heart-shaped wreath form, making seven or eight inch bubbles, pushing them forward each time. Now on the heart-shaped wreath form, the sections are different sizes, so I cannot give you an exact number per section, but for the larger one, I did count 10 is what I fit in. If you are wanting yours fuller and fluffier than mine, you might want to pick up three of each color because when I finished this wreath, I just ended up using all of the deco mesh. I didn't have any left. I always like to pick up extra when I can because y'all know Dollar Tree sells out of the deco mesh fast. So if you find it, you need to go ahead and buy it. Here is the section where I was able to get 10 bubbles in. Now it's not like super full or anything, but I think it's a nice, you know, amount of deco mesh on it. But if you want yours fuller than this, then buy three of each color. But I just continued all the way around making seven or eight inch bubbles all the way around. And like I said, I did not have any deco mesh left when I was finished. So this is just like the one that I uploaded on Monday. It's very simple. The important thing is try to make your bubbles the same size. You can choose whatever color deco mesh that you would like. I just happened to choose white and pink for this heart shaped wreath. And I did tie a bow for mine because y'all know I like to tie a bow and put a bow on just about everything I make. I just kept mine simple, but Dollar Tree has a lot of cute Valentine's Day decorations right now. They have some really pretty table scatter, some glitter heart picks. So there's lots of things that you can use to decorate your wreath. Okay, and this is with the first two rolls. So this is how it looks. And now I am ready to use my last two rolls of the six inch deco mesh. So basically two rolls does half of your heart. And to tie off the end, I just attach it with a pipe cleaner and just attach my bubble with a pipe cleaner. And then I take the end and then I just use another pipe cleaner and 
run the pipe cleaner under that center wire and then give the pipe cleaner a few twists. That way the ends do not flip down on you and show. And then just trim them a little bit shorter. Same steps for the last two rolls of the six inch deco mesh. So I want my white deco mesh on bottom and the pink on top. Slide my hand down it, make a bubble, and I take my pipe cleaner and I attach it to the center wire. Now just make sure that you're keeping your colors in the same order. So when you start a new roll, make sure that you have just like when you started. So I had pink on top, white on bottom. So you want to make sure when you're making these bubbles that throughout the whole process that you're keeping the same colors, the same one on top, same one on bottom, each time you make a bubble. This is very important because when you separate the loops, that way you have a clear heart shape with the white and a clear heart shape with the pink. So this is how it looks and you don't have to do anything if you don't want to, but I like to separate my loops. So I'm taking and pulling the white deco mesh to my left and the pink to my right. So you're just sliding the white out from under the pink and just giving it a little pull. So the white goes to the left, the pink to the right, all the way around the heart shape wreath. And that's it. All you have to do is separate your loops and you're ready to hang it up. Now I did tie a bow for mine, but that's optional and it's pretty without doing anything to it. So I like it the way it looks with just the six inch deco mesh. Now on that first wreath, I did use three colors, but since this heart wreath form is a little bit smaller than the 14 inch circle wreath, I decided to just use two colors. And this is how your wreath looks when you separate your loops. That's why it's so important to keep your colors the same when you're making your bubbles. So just try to make them the same size each time. And then I also wanted to show you, just in case you haven't seen the round wreath tutorial, how it looks. And I used, this is made with the six inch deco mesh also from Dollar Tree. I just used three colors and I will link the tutorial for you just in case you would like to watch it. These wreaths are very simple to make and inexpensive, and they're one of my favorites. So you will be seeing lots more of these bubble method wreaths coming up real soon. And here I am tying a double bow using two inch width ribbon with wire. So you're just going to let out a tail, make a loop, pinch it in your left hand, make another loop on the other side, try to make it the same size as the first loop, and then just go back and forth, back and forth, trying to make the loops the same size on each side, and then let out a tail, and you'll want to have some floral stem wire close by to wrap tightly around the center of your bow. And this is 20 gauge floral stem wire. You can purchase it at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart, Dollar Tree, places like that. And after you wrap the wire tightly around the center of your bow, make sure you leave your wires long and then you can fluff your loops. And here I am dovetailing the ends of my ribbon. So you fold the ribbon to the left and then you go to the fold and cut away from your fold. And that makes your pretty V. When you attach your bow to your wreath, you're going to take your wires and you're going to thread them through the deco mesh. You do not want to go around the deco mesh. You want to be patient and work your wires through the deco mesh and then go to the back, give it a twist, and then cut off the extra wires and fold them down. Now you can also cut off the extra pipe cleaners that are sticking up so that that kind of cleans up the back of your wreath and makes it look nice too. I decided to add my bow right in the very center or the middle of the heart. And so that's where I placed my bow and I didn't add anything else. I just kept it simple and I really like it this way. So let me know in the comment section if you plan on making one of these wreaths and let me know if the heart shape wreath is your favorite or the circle. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and share. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel.